Hello friends, in this video I am going to discuss about the concept how we can decide the minimum number of teeth on the pinion to avoid interference. So let's start the discussion how we can define minimum number of teeth on a pinion to avoid interference. So as we know about the interference, so interference we generally consider when one teeth is cutting the involute profile of another teeth which is on the mating gear or on the meshing gear. When two gears are in meshing condition, for example if we are considering pinion and the wheel and the tooth of the pinion is cutting the involute profile of tooth of the wheel when we are increasing the addendum circle radius of the pinion. So that term is called the interference of the involute gear. And if we want to avoid the interference, so we have to consider two interference point that is the maximum limit of the addendum circle radius. It is represented by Mn. So if we are defining the addendum circle radius, that is cutting the tangent which is on the base circle at the point of tangency. So that condition is generally helps to avoid interference during the meshing or during the mating when two gears are in motion or two gears are in rotating condition. So here how we can define the number of tooth, how many number of tooth we have to consider on the pinion so by which we can avoid the interference. So here we will consider the same diagram. Here we have one gear that is, so here we are considering two gears. One is pinion and one is wheel. And pinion is the driving gear and if it is rotating in clockwise direction and it is in contact with the tooth of the wheel, in that case the wheel will rotate in opposite direction. So O1 and O2 we are considering as the center and O1, O2 is the center distance between the pinion and the wheel. And here if we want to define the length of path of contact, so here we have to consider one contact point between two involute tooth and we will draw a tangent which is passing through the contact point of the tooth. Let us consider this point as Q and this Mn is acting as a normal over this point Q. We will consider curve over the involute surface. So this Mn is representing the normal over that curve which is passing through the contact point Q. And here on the basis of this Mn and the radius of addendum circle of wheel and the pinion. We can define the length of path of contact that is representing the actual length of path of contact. Now in terms of interference here if we are increasing the radius of the addendum circle for the pinion and for the wheel for both wheels or for both gears if we are increasing the radius of the addendum circle. So here pinion Addendum circle radius, first we are considering this is the actual addendum circle. So the radius is represented by O1L and if we are increasing up to point N, so O1N is representing the maximum radius of the addendum circle. If we are further increasing this radius, so interference will happen. So if we want to avoid the interference, O1N should be the maximum radius of the addendum circle of the pinion. Similarly in wheel, if we want to avoid the interference, so in terms of actual addendum circle, here O2 K, K is the starting point of engagement from where we generally define the starting of length of path of contact. So O2 K is representing the radius of the actual addendum circle of the wheel. Now we are increasing this radius up to point M and if we are further increasing this radius after O2 M, so interference will happen. So to avoid the interference, we have to consider O2M as the limiting radius of the addendum circle of the wheel. So this Mn should be the maximum length of path of contact and M and N which are the point of tangency over the base circle are represented as the interference point. Now there is one term also involved to avoid the interference that is called the number of teeth 
on the basis of number of teeth we can also define the interference and if we want to avoid the interference there should be definite number of teeth over the pinion and the wheel we have to consider so if we are taking the first driving gear or driving wheel that is pinion so how many number of teeth should be on the pinion here we have to define so with the help of this diagram we will define the total number of teeth on the pinion so here first i will write some terms so here this point p is representing the pitch point So here O1 P is representing the pitch circle radius and it is denoted by R and similarly O2 P is representing the pitch circle radius of the wheel that is represented by capital R. Now here we have one pressure angle that is phi and pressure angle we consider the tangent over this pitch circle and the tangent over the base circle. So the angle between these two tangents is generally represented by the pressure angle. Now here we have to define the minimum number of teeth on the pinion. So, so small t is representing the minimum number of teeth on the pinion. Similarly, if we want to define the minimum number of teeth on the wheel, So capital T is representing the minimum number of teeth on the wheel. So here we have to define the value of small t. And m is representing the module of the teeth that is represented by the pitch circle diameter divided by number of teeth. So m is representing the module of the teeth. And here we have g as the gear ratio because we have number of teeth. So gear ratio will be number of teeth on the wheel divided by number of teeth on the pinion and on the basis of pitch circle diameters and the speed of the wheel we can also define the gear ratio so g is representing the gear ratio so here we have all these terms so on the basis of these terms we will define the minimum number of teeth on the pinion and the pitch circle radius of the pinion and the wheel we can define by this equation r equals to m small t by 2 and capital r equals to small m capital t by 2 on the basis of concept of pinion we can define this term the radius of the pitch circle of the pinion and radius of the pitch circle of the wheel so here we have these terms now here we have mn as the maximum length of contact p is the pitch point o1 and o2 are the centers so o1n is represented as the maximum radius of the addendum circle of the pinion and o2 m is representing the maximum radius of the addendum circle of the wheel so let us consider two triangles here first triangle will be o1n p and second triangle will be o2 m p So from triangle O1 NP, if we are defining O1 N, so this is not a right angle triangle. Here O1 NP is not a right angle triangle. So we cannot define this O1 N as under root of O1 P square minus P N square. So here O1 N square will be O1 n square will be O1 p square plus p n square minus 2 O1 p into p n cos O1 p from this triangle. So here this angle we are considering as phi. This angle is phi because this angle we are forming with two tangent. One tangent is the tangent over the pitch circle and another tangent is the tangent here which is passing through the base circle of pinion and the wheel. So this phi is representing the angle of obliquity. So this angle we have phi and this angle we have 90. So this cos will be cos O1 pn. So it will be 90 plus phi. So 
So our equation will be this O1 P is representing the radius of the pit circle of the pinion that is small r. So it will be r square and pn we have to define. So pn we can define from this triangle O2 pn. From this triangle O2 pn we can define this pn. So this will be O2 p sin phi. So it will be capital R sin phi from this triangle. So it will be capital R sin phi square minus 2 into small r O1 p is r, p n is r sin phi and O1 p we have defined that is 90 plus phi. So here we have this term, we will simplify this term. So our equation will be O n square that is equals to small r square plus capital R square sin square phi and this will be cos 90 plus phi will be minus sin phi so it will be 2 r r sin square phi. So here we have O 1 n square and we know this O 1 n is representing the radius of the addendum circle of the pinion that is maximum radius of the addendum circle of the pinion. So here we have simplified term by which we can define O1 n that is the radius of the addendum circle of the pinion. So this is the equation. Now here what we are doing, we are taking common R square. O1 n is under root of R square plus capital R square sin square phi plus 2 R R sin square phi. So here we are taking common R square. So the term will be 1 plus R square by this capital R square by small r square sin square phi plus 2 capital R by R and sin square phi. So here we are further simplifying this term. So r square will be r and it will be 1 plus r by r sin square phi. From these two terms I am taking common this r by r sin square phi. So this term will be r by r sin square phi into r by r plus 2. So this term is representing the radius or the maximum radius of the addendum circle of the pinion. Now here this r by r we can define as the gear ratio also. Gear ratio in terms of number of teeth we can define as t by t and in terms of radius also we can define or in terms of diameters also we can define. So the pitch circle radius for this wheel divided by pitch circle radius of the pinion this ratio is generally representing the gear ratio and it is denoted by g so we will put g in place of r by r. So our equation will be r under root of 1 plus g sin square phi g plus 2. So here we have the maximum radius of the addendum circle of the pinion. Now if we define the addendum of the pinion, so addendum of the pinion we generally define by this term AP into M where AP represent the fraction of addendum. So AP is represented as the fraction of addendum of the pinion and if we want complete addendum of the pinion so it should be multiplied by the total module. So addendum of the pinion will be AP into M and addendum of the pinion we can define on the basis of maximum radius of the addendum circle of the pinion and the pitch circle radius. So addendum of the pinion is generally represented by O1n minus O1p. From the diagram we can see here, so addendum we generally define the distance between the addendum circle and the pitch circle 
So, we can define the addendum total distance by this O1n and the pitch circle radius O1p. So, it will be O1n minus O1p. So, O1n we have here and O1p is represented as small r. So, here we have this term APM that is representing the addendum of the pinion that is equals to O1n. So, it is r under root of 1 plus g sin square phi into g plus 2 minus O1p is representing r and this r we have in terms of module that is mt by 2. So, gear ratio we know we can define in terms of either in terms of radius or in terms of number of teeth. So, in place of g I am putting this term t by t. So, our equation will be mt by 2 under root of 1 plus t by t sin square phi into t by t plus 2 minus mt by 2. So, we will take common this mt by 2. So, our equation will be this and it is equals to APM. Now, here we have M that is representing the module. So, it will cancel out and T is representing the number of teeth on the pinion. So, if we want minimum number of teeth on the pinion, so we can only define the minimum number of teeth on the pinion on the basis of this particular maximum radius of addendum circle of the pinion and the pitch circle radius. So, with the help of this equation, we can define the minimum number of teeth on the pinion. So, minimum number of teeth on the pinion, it is represented by this equation. Here, we will simplify this term. So, this 2 will go here. It will multiplied with AP. That is the fraction of addendum. And it is divided by this term. So, it will be 2 AP divided by under root of 1 plus T by T into T by T plus 2 sin square phi minus 1. And in place of T by T, either we can put R by R or we can put simple G that is representing the gear ratio. So, this equation 2 AP divided by under root of 1 plus g into g plus 2 sin square phi minus 1 is representing the minimum number of teeth on the pinion to avoid interference. Now here if we are applying one condition when number of teeth on the pinion is equal to number of teeth on the wheel. So, this minimum number of teeth here, number of teeth on the pinion is equals to number of teeth on the wheel. That means T capital T equals to small t. So, here in this equation, if we are putting the condition, so this T by T will become 1 and this T by T also become 1. So, it will be 1 plus 3 sin square phi minus 1. So, in case of t equals to t, capital T equals to small t, this t will be 2 AP divided by under root of 1 plus 3 sin square phi minus 1. So, this is representing the minimum number of teeth on the pinion to avoid interference when the number of teeth on the pinion is equals to number of teeth on the wheel. So, this is all about one condition which is based on the number of teeth on the pinion to avoid interference. Thank you so much.